writers, this is a really exciting day because we start a whole new unit. You used to be storytellers, writing true stories of your lives, but now you will be experts, writing to teach others what you know. You used to write stories like these. But now you're going to write stories like these. Let's start with an investigation and try to figure out the differences between the storybooks you used to write and the teaching or informational books you'll be writing now. I'll just read a bit of our storybook. And then just a bit of our informational book. As I read, try to list across your fingers all the ways that teaching books are different than storybooks. Okay, here's a storybook. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Okay, here's our informational book, Lizards. Lizards. Here's the table of contents, showing all the things you're going to learn about that the author wrote about and what page they're on. What am I? I can be as big as a table. I can be as small as a pin. I can swim, glide, or run. My skin is smooth, bumpy, or even thorny. What am I? A lizard. Lizards come in different colors. They come in different shapes. But all lizards are reptiles. A reptile has dry skin with scales. It usually lays eggs on land. It has a backbone. Turtles, snakes, crocodiles, and tortoises are also reptiles. Okay, turn and talk with your partner. How are the teaching books different from the storybooks? One, two, one, two, three, eye to eye, knee to knee. Writers, I bet some of you said that the authors of information books use a teaching voice, not a storyteller voice, and write with facts and information. Let's think now about what authors do to get ready to write teaching books so that you can write one today. I'll show you some questions I ask myself when I want to come up with a topic to teach others. Let's see. Give me a thumbs up when you thought of a topic for the book you'll write today. I ask myself. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do a lot that I know and can teach others? Is there a sport or a game or a show or kind of an animal that I know a lot about? Hmm. If you think of something you know a lot about that you could teach others, thumbs up. Fast. Tell your partner what you're thinking that you could write about. One, two, one, two, three, eye to eye, knee to knee. Writers, today I want to teach you that to get started writing a teaching book, a writer often becomes a teacher and teaches people all about the topic. When doing that teaching, many writers find it helps to use a teaching voice and to use fingers to organize their information. The way the writer, that way the writer teaches one thing and then another and then another about the topic. One thing, and then another, and then another. Writers, watch me as I get ready to write my teaching book by using a teaching voice and fingers to teach you one thing and then another about my topic. Okay, let's have you guys pretend to be students in a class. I'm going to teach about yoga. This is a fancy class, so sit up nice and straight with your whole body facing me. Okay, take out your imaginary notepad so you can pretend to take imaginary notes on what I'm teaching you. Yes, you look like real official students. Okay, are you ready to watch how I teach? Because then you'll have time to teach each other your topics. 
<clears throat> Welcome students. Today I'm going to teach you about yoga. I'm going to tell you some really important things that I know about yoga. First, in yoga you do lots of stretches. Also, to do yoga you need a mat. Another thing in yoga, you have to work very hard on breathing right. Hmm. Let's see. What else do I know about yoga? If I only knew three things, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to write a whole book about yoga. Oh, yes. Also, yoga comes from a country called India. And one more thing. Yoga helps people to feel better. I hope you enjoyed what I taught about yoga. Did you see how I got ready to write my book by teaching you all about my topic, yoga? I thought of as many things as I could about yoga, and I held up my fingers to show each time I shifted to a new subtopic, a new thing about yoga. The topic is yoga, and each new thing is called a subtopic. Now I can start filling up pages in my very first teaching book. Okay, I'm going to call you teachers now, because that's what you're going to be doing, teaching. Teachers, now it's your turn to give this a try. Thumbs up if you have a topic in mind that you think you could teach others about. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to tell you who your new writing partner is and whether you're a one or a two. Okay. Okay, partner one, you're going to begin. Partner two, you're the student. So, adjust yourself so that you're ready to learn. Partner one, the teacher. When you're in position, you can start. Partner one, the teacher, is going to teach, tell partner two, their student, all about their topic. One, two, one, two, three, eye to eye, knee to knee. One, two, one, two, three, eyes are back, back on me. Okay, now you're going to switch. Remember to teach your student all the things you know about this topic across your fingers. One, two, one, two, three, eye to eye, knee to knee. One, two, one, two, three, eyes are back, back on me. Okay, teachers and students, let's come back together now. Wow, I am so amazed at all the things that you know. It's like I've become, an, I've become smarter by just listening to you. Hmm, you guys know so much. Now, it's your chance to write a teaching book on the same topic that you just taught your partner. And after this, and for the rest of your life, always remember that one way that writers of informational books can get ready to write is to teach someone all about a topic. It can help to use a teaching voice and fingers or pages to organize information, so the writer teaches one thing, and then another, and then another about their topic. Put your thumb up if you feel ready to write. Okay, when I say the secret code, you're going to go with your writing partner and get started. Work hard and good luck. <laughs>